Always have a backup plan when it comes to buying cryptocurrency. Have two different apps ready to go. Today we're going to be talking about limit orders on Coinbase and how to make them. Coinbase is your bread and butter go-to crypto purchasing powerhouse. And although they've gotten rid of their Coinbase Pro, it's simply just been moved down to the bottom corner to advance. Just switch that toggle if you want more professional looking and feeling crypto information or any kind of purchasing information for the assets that are here or simply go back to Coinbase regular for you beginners because this is something that is made so easy and I have to give my hat off to Coinbase for making crypto accessible for everybody no matter what their learning curve. Now let's start off by funding the account. We're going to go ahead and buy some crypto. We've going to set our pay with to PayPal. And I want to just buy some USDC. How much am I going to buy? Uh, let's go with $100 today. Review the order. And buy now. And it's done. Go ahead and refresh your screen. And we'll go ahead and look for our assets right there. And under cash, you see our USDC and the amount. Now, just as an aside, I didn't have to load USDC with that card. I could have purchased whatever crypto I'm seeking to purchase with that PayPal card. Just keep that in mind. Don't do the extra steps, but we are going to just show you the how to's on how to move this stuff around so you can get comfortable with it. Now, a word to the wise. I just made a critical error. When I purchased that cryptocurrency with my PayPal account, I limited myself to not being able to buy uh, a limit buy order. Once you switch to a USDC account like I have here, you lose the ability to make limit buys. You can only make those limit buys with either PayPal or cash. So once you have your cash wallet um, selected and funded, you can hit that one time order and there's your limit order option. So now only thing that's left to do is to create that limit order. We're going to do a limit buy order. What are we buying? Let's go ahead and buy. Oh, some Doge. Currently Doge is at 19 cents. That's pretty, pretty high. We're going to buy, let's say, 100 Doge coins. All right. 100 Doge. When the USD price reaches 17 cents. So what's the rule on making buy limit orders? You have to buy it at a lower amount than the current market price. The current market price of Doge, as we stated, was 19 cents. Let's go ahead and look at the market. And there it is. Doge is 19 cents. So in order to execute a limit order for that Dogecoin, it has to be below the current market price. I want to buy a hundred Dogecoin when the price reaches 10% of its low price. 
down 10%. Review the order. Good until canceled. And you can place the order. And you're done. Limit sell orders work in the exact opposite. And remember, to do a sell, select that. I don't have any Bitcoin. So let's go look at some assets that I do have. And I've got about 42 bucks of XRP available to me. So I'm going to go ahead and look at that. Now, I want to do not a one-time order, but a limit order. And this is a limit sell order. All right. I want to sell my XRP, which is about 76. And you can go ahead and look at your assets. That's how many tokens you have. And that's how much it's worth. Let's say I want to just keep keep it simple and just take when that, when that $30 worth of that XRP, I'm going to do a limit sell of $30 of that XRP to cash when it hits a dollar. How much? A dollar. Now let's review the order, see if I got that right. The target price is one dollar. I want to deposit it into my USD balance for a total of 29 bucks after the 86 cent fee that's going to be charged to me. And I'm going to place that order. If XRP ever reaches a dollar, I would make that $29 off of that account, basically doubling my money. So let's go ahead and hit done. Now to review your transactions, go over to your transactions. There's your limit orders. And these are the two limit orders that are yet to be fulfilled. All right. This is good until canceled. Let's go ahead and manage that XRP. We're gonna keep those funds on hold. It's like 16 bucks on hold until uh, this order is filled. The status is open. And let's leave it at that. What I almost did was close my order. I don't wanna close my order. I wanna just close that screen. So yeah, you can always end your order before it's processed by just hitting that button, but do not do that. So once again, you go to your transactions, there's your limit orders, there's your Dogecoin limit order, that's the limit uh, buy, and this is the limit sell of the XRP. This channel is for educational purposes only. We show you the how to's. This should not be constituted as financial advice. Please contact a professional in that area to let you know what you should do with your money.